divide the following, put all answers in the standard form of a complex number. Now the first exercise gives us 9 plus 21i over 3. So remember that the standard form of the complex number, when we talk about the standard form, that's of the form a plus bi. So here we have 9 plus 21i over 3. That's not standard form because the real and imaginary part aren't you know, really separated, separated in a sense. So here what we can do is write this as 9 over 3 plus 21 over 3 i and simplify that. So that would be 3 plus 7 i. And that's the standard form. Now exercise B is a little bit tougher. 2 minus 5i divided by 3 plus 2i. The first thing we're going to do is make this one look more like exercise A. And we're going to do that, and to do that we need to get a real number in the denominator. What we noticed in the previous exercise is that if I multiply a complex number by its conjugate, I get a real number. So the practice is we multiply the denominator by 3 minus 2i, the complex conjugate. Now if I multiply by something in the denominator, I have to do the same thing in the numerator. So that would yield in the numerator 6 minus 4i minus 15i plus 10i squared. In the denominator, I would have a 9 minus 6i plus 6i minus 4i squared. Now, recall in both the numerator and denominator that i squared is negative 1. So I'd have 6 minus 10, negative 4. And then I have a minus 4i and a minus 15i. That's a minus 19i. In the denominator, I would have 9 plus 4, which is 13, and the minus 6i and the plus 6i go to 0. Now, as with the previous exercise, this is not the standard form. So I would rewrite it in standard form as negative 4 thirteenths minus 19 thirteenths i. So again, what we will do is if we're dividing by a complex number, we multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. All right, and exercise C gives us 8 plus 5i divided by 3i. Now, since there's no real part in the denominator, I don't really have to multiply by the conjugate. Instead, what I can do is multiply just by i in the denominator and numerator. Because what that'll do is it'll give me the i square, and then so the 3i square, that'll, that'll give me a real number. I could just as easily multiply by negative 3i. It would just make the uh, simplification process tougher. All right, so that would give me 8i plus 5i squared, and in the denominator I have 3i squared. Recalling that each of those i squares is a negative 1. That would give me negative 5 plus 8i over negative 3. Rewriting this in standard form, I'd have negative 5 over negative 3, positive 5 thirds, and then I'd have positive 8 over negative 3 minus 8 thirds i.